I am so excited to hear about the amount of short stories in science fiction and fantasy because there's people that love short stories and and yet they can be hard to find. And you can you can learn to be a good writer for novels by writing short stories. Uh -huh. It's a good testing ground, you know, to try things out. You don't have to carry as many balls as you, as you do in a 300 400 page tome. Exactly. So, you can yeah. finish it, you know, you can finish it in a couple of weeks or even mm -hmm. a week or you know a few days and you can move on. You know, you can go to the next thing whereas a novel if you're trying to write that it takes forever, mm -hmm. you know, to to generally write a novel, months if not years, you know, for sure. So short stories, I recommend people write a lot of short stories before and, they Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Write short stories, perfect parts of your craft, and then get into the novels. Although you could be working on the novel at the same time, but please write short stories. Okay. So, so now we have, I, I know you've done editing. Yeah. So um, our audience is readers, which includes uh -huh. writers, and you talked just now about perfecting your craft. What is one of your biggest tips for perfecting your craft for anybody who's thought about writing or is in that process? The, the best tip I have is just to write a lot. There's a, an old saying that says you have to write a million words before it's any good. I disagree. I think it's more like half a million. <laughs> but, but everybody's different. But the point is you can't run a marathon tomorrow if you haven't run. You've got you've to build up to it. You've got to train for it. So you've got to spend years, literally, writing. Most people do. Have to spend years practicing. Mm -hmm. There's no substitute for putting your little butt in the chair and typing a lot of words. Mm -hmm. If you think you're just going to write a great novel tomorrow with no training, it's not going to happen. So, and uh, the other quick tip, your first drafts are going to be terrible. That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. That's ev just about everybody's first drafts are terrible. I think that's the biggest thing that worries me in self-publishing is the people who write this first draft and they're so excited for writing that they've written a book and it is an exciting thing. Yeah. But then they forget that it probably needs to be... Yeah, they forget that uh, writing the first draft is just the beginning, and that's the easy part. The mm -hmm. hard part is actually rewriting it and editing it, and the magic happens with rewriting and editing. Generally, at three, four drafts mm -hmm. is, is what you're going to need. It might be kind of good after the first draft. There might be some good stuff, but there's still going to be a lot wrong with it, even from the pros. They're still uh, pro professional writers, I should say. Um, they have to edit. They need an editor. They need to rewrite. Mm -hmm. So... That's my, that's my best two things. Write a lot and then revise like crazy. Okay. Thank you. It's been so fun talking to you. Thank you, Susan. This is Susan Phelan for Utah Book Scene. Thanks for watching.